Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Indizor Education. Um, I would like to um, add another particular kind of lenses to whatever the categories of lenses we we have already um, talked about. It's called um, Fresnel lenses. Um, sometimes it's pronounced Fresnel. Sometimes I, I think Fresnel is more French because he's a French guy. And his full name is Augustin Jean Fresnel. Uh, he's a physicist um, in in France, um, somewhere in I think it's eighteen uh, hundreds, I believe. I don't remember exactly. So, what was his very important contribution to lenses? Well, as we know, lenses are some devices which can actually do a very simple thing. This is a simple um, lens and if you uh, have lights coming, parallel lights coming from this side, they will concentrate in one particular point uh, called the focal point and then it will go further. Now, why? Well, because of a very simple property of a prism. If you remember, if you go this way, it will go this way. We have already talked about this. Okay. So, now, from this looks like a prism, right? This particular piece. Um, and this piece. And this piece. And this piece and this piece and this piece. So let's examine how light actually goes through the prism. When it goes here, it's perpendicular in this particular prism, right? So it doesn't really change the direction. It changed the speed because of the difference in uh, substance. This is the glass, this is the air. But where is it exactly bending? Well, it's bending on this boundary. So whenever it goes into this particular piece, let's call it a, a small prism, it, again, it doesn't change anything, doesn't change direction and w when it crosses this particular side. But whenever it goes this way, it will bend. It will bend. It will bend. So only on the surface of the lens it actually does this change of direction. Now, if you would like to make a large lens which has a lot of light actually coming through, well, it's kind of bulky. It's a big lens. It's a lot of big piece of chunk of glass which you have to polish, etc. Well, incidentally, if you put the point source of light here and it will direct the rays this way the rays will go the, the, other, the, the opposite way and it will be parallel to this so the idea was to use the lens as a source of light in lighthouses at that time it was extremely important no GPS okay so again exactly the same thing the real change of direction happens on the surface of the prism. And then, after that, it goes parallel. So, the only problem was to properly shape this surface so that the light goes parallel. Well, in the beginning, people were actually shaping as part of the sphere, and we were talking about this is not precise. The precise surface which does exactly this type of a, from a point source to a parallel light, it's a very complicated curve. But in any case, whenever people did it, the whole lens became very bulky. So, what, what's actually Fresnel's um, uh, contribution to this? Very important. He says, look guys. This piece
this piece of lens is not really used at all. What we need is just these prisms at the very edge of this curved surface. So, let's make another construction. I will take this prism here, and then this prism here, and this prism here, etc. So, all these prisms, these are this way, and prisms will be this way. Like teeth. Now, what we actually need, but what's really very important, is to have the curvature of these parts and curvature of these parts in such a way that the light coming here would go to this point light coming here will go to this point, light coming here will go to this point. So all we need to do is to properly curve these teeth, so to speak. It's significantly less bulky, but it does exactly the same, well, approximately the same. The finer the teeth are, the better approximation to this curve will be with these little pieces of these prisms. So the prism is not triangle again. The prism on this side, on the top side, would look like this. And on the bottom side it will look like this. But these curvatures should correspond to these curvatures. And the middle one as well. Not exactly. They should be a little bit less bending than this particular curvature because it's closer so whenever we just have this particular piece cut it out and moved here and move here then the focus will be here right so we need less curvature here um, so it will go this way same so this one would be a little bit less curved than this one but in any case the curvature can be calculated or can be experimentally determined and the finer the teeth are, the better the focus will be. And this is called Fresnel lens, Fresnel's maybe lens. So this is called, by the way, positive Fresnel lens. Now, this is exactly what's used since that time, and not only in lighthouses, it's used in many, many, many different places. Um, the car lights actually have this kind of curvatures to put the um, uh, light rays parallel forward. And in many other cases. So whenever you need a really big curved lens, people are using Fresnel lens. lens. So these are uh, the, the, so this is a positive Fresnel lens. Now, there is a negative Fresnel lens, which I'm going to talk about right now. In, instead of going through, the light would reflect. And it looks like a parabolic lens. Basically, the, the functionality is like a parabolic lens. But it's not really parabolic, it will be flat. I'll talk about this. Now, why am I actually um, going into this direction? Why is it important? Well, because it will help me to explain how hologram is working. Because in hologram, it's not the Fresnel's lens per se, but it's something very functionally similar. And we will talk about this whenever we will talk about holograms. So, let's talk about reflecting. So, this is refraction when the light goes through and you need something like a glass or whatever and the and and the next one the negative one would be a reflection of the light
so. Now we talked about parabolic lens. It has focus, focal point, and if you put the light here, it will direct light, uh, parallel uh, rays of light. So that's the functionality of parabolic um, lens. Well, again, I'm saying parabolic. In many cases, it's a part of the sphere. Approximately, it's parabolic. Doesn't really matter. With parabola, it's really exact, and we did some calculations. Okay, now, it's again, it's big, it's bulky. How can I make it flat, basically? We will use exactly the same thing. Again, what's important? Important is this piece, which is supposed to be curved somehow. So let me just do it differently. I'll do a flat surface. And I will put these mirrors, if you wish, same as these spaces. I'll put it on the flat surface. Again, the finer teeth I will make, the better will be um, parabolic functionality of this flat negative Fresnel's lens. But again, if you put a source of light here, from every lens, it will supposed to go this way. So functionality will be very similar. And vice versa, if you put the lights, parallel lights from here, the parabolic lens will collect it into one point. So there is a focal point, there is a focal distance, obviously, and the functionality is the same, but it's flat, which means it's much easier to make. And now the, the problem is uh, these teeth should be very, very tiny. Um, uh, I actually have seen um, plastic uh, made as a, uh, as a positive Fresnel lens. Teeth are really like, like grooves on the... Um, on a, uh, on a disc, old disc, vinyl disc. So the grooves are really tiny, right? So that's approximately the size of the teeth on the Fresnel's lens, um, a positive Fresnel lens made, made of plastic. Um, now, again, this is something as a principle that you can actually put all these small mirrors, if you will, um, in a special position and as fine as far as the size is concerned as positive in such a way that it will act like a um, parabolic lens. And again I will use it as a principle, not as a real construction, but as a principle I will use it when I will try to explain how a hologram is actually made. This is a very important principle, a negative Fresnel's lens principle. That's it. It's a very short um, lecture today. Um, I do suggest you to read um, on Physics 14's course, which, which is presented on unizar.com. This lecture is supplemented with textual material, like a textbook, and um, it has uh, a couple of pictures, much better than whatever I have just drawn. Um, and uh, the whole lecture is just part of this uh, mm, some kind of a properties of light which we were talking about whenever we were talking about lenses in general. This is a particular kind of lenses which is very, very practically useful. So um, I, I think the glory belongs to this guy, uh, Augustine Jean Fresnel, but there were other people who contributed to creation of this thing. And what's very important is basically manufacturing how can you make these tiny teeth properly positioned, properly angled, uh, etc. But that's a technicality which, which is not part of this course. So thank you very much and good luck.